right now, as we speak, there are um, there are uh, senators in the Senate chambers. Uh, they are voting on amendments uh, as we speak. Um, there has been some negotiations. We'll talk to Digby about this that have happened um, uh, in the past couple of hours about uh, the unemployment insurance of the bill. It's a one point nine trillion dollar bill. And uh, one of the things that we're going to be talking about with uh, Heather Parton, or Digby, as you may know her, is the idea of the the Republicans barely engaging in this fight. There is no, there does not seem to be any response from Republicans about this bill other than it's too big. And and I, I'll tell you, I remember hearing this about the uh, Affordable Care Act, too. They went on and on about how many pages it was, like the pages of the number of pages in the legislation is somehow a an indication of that. It's a bad piece of legislation. The other tact has been taking like, do you know how much money this is? It could reach the sky. Here is Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson. Cannot hear him. Let's try that one more time. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson. Is, or $1.9 trillion. You have to use analogies. Again, the, the human mind really can't contemplate what a trillion is. I, I found this first analogy. My, my wife talked to me about it in, in terms of time. So... This one is simply talking about it. If, if I would give you, Madam President, a dollar per second, a dollar per second, how much, how long would it take me to give you a million dollars? Well, you see the chart here, it would take 11.6 days. Again, a dollar per second, how much for a million dollars? 11.6 days. Next question, how long would it take you to- well, Pause it for one second. A billion dollars. Because I think we all can relate to the idea of somebody giving us a dollar per minute, right? I mean, how, who amongst us has not been in a situation where we haven't gotten a dollar per minute, where someone's handing you a dollar per minute. We all go through this in our everyday lives where people are handing you a dollar per minute. Yeah, can I have my change, please? Stare yes, into each can. other's eyes. Here's stare a dollar. Each other's eyes, say nothing and then hand each other dollars on a timer every minute. Here's a dollar. I, you know, and it's like when you go and you get that, um, you know, 70, uh, that, that dollar and a quarter, uh, uh, you know, water at the, uh, at the bodega and you give them a 20, it's just like, you got 19 minutes almost. And it's just like this, very relatable. It's a great metaphor, but continue. <laughs> Would it take you to accumulate a billion dollars? You're going to do the math. You find out it would take 31.7 years. That's back when uh, the Chinese uh, had their protests in Tiananmen Square. What? So the next, the next <laughs> question is, what about a trillion dollars? And this is what becomes mind-boggling. I, I got news I for you. It's already mind-boggling. <laughs> Go ahead. Continue to play. A dollar every second. And I wanted oh. to give you a trillion dollars. It would take 31,688 years to give you a trillion dollars. Oh, thanks. Now I get it. That, that <laughs> That's so much clearer to me. The last glaciation <laughs> period, a period in time when Wisconsin was under a, a, a mile thick glacier. By the way, a quick little aside for my colleague <laughs> right. from, from Rhode Island. Since that point in time, about 20,000 years ago, the, the, I, the water level in the Bay of San Francisco has increased 390 feet. Now, now, that's global warming. That's a rise in the sea level. But that's what happened through natural causes. But that was an aside. What? What? <laughs> $1.9 trillion. 60,000 years. Wow. Over 60,000 years. He's really Again, mixing metaphors. Context, oh, my gosh. The human race began to develop language about 50,000 years ago. So that's the time analogy. It really I makes you think. Like, this, this, <laughs> this is, I have to say, is he good? All right, pause it for one second. Well, we just like, this is, and I, and I apologize. I think I said a dollar a minute, and it's actually a dollar a second. Oh. Right? A dollar a second. They're handing out to you really, really quick. Yeah. So you get your change back super quick. And so let me, so, so this is how uh, Ron Johnson, 
anticipates his constituents are going to uh, talk about how horrific this bill is. And they're going to say, like, do you realize that this bill is like the the age when there was ice covering all of like Green Bay and also like the sea rise in San Francisco with all the money? If you put all the money in the Bay of San Francisco, the sea would rise. Well, that's, what happened to it touching the sky? I mean, <laughs> well, like, that's coming up next. See, right, now it's, I, he just did temporal and now it's spatial. Yeah, so it's, it's temporal spatial. It's very clear. I brought a dollar bill to just demonstrate its, its thickness, but the thickness <laughs> of a dollar bill is 4.3 thousandths of an inch thick. Right. Uh, okay. Super easy for me yeah, to no, visualize. I can, I can imagine that. Everybody, who amongst us can't imagine it? Four point zero zero point zero zero four three inches. Of course. Yeah, and, and why would these these trillions have to be stacked in one dollar bills? And why does what does that prove? I'm not sure. I do appreciate the fact that he realized at one point, like, oh wait a second, if I really wanted to uh, uh, explain this in a way that people could imagine it, I would bring the bill. I would bring the dollar bill. Like yeah. he's saying, the human mind can't abstractly appreciate how much 1.9 trillion dollars is but i got news for you the human mind also can't abstractly appreciate how thick 0. 0.0043 uh inches are he really just needed to say a dollar bill because that's a little bit more attached to everybody's reality than uh the metric thickness of but he a wanted dollar. to show that he could do math yeah. Uh, continue. And those history. Yeah. Let's start with a million. If you stacked a million dollar bills on top of each other, they would be, they would stack up to be 358 feet high. You can see the calculation here. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Right. Where's the calculation for 358? I don't see that. Foot story building. So how big would a stack of a billion dollar bills be? Well, why would you do it in dollar bills? Why wouldn't you just do a check? Miles why would you do it in gold bars? There's something called the That's the a good point. Line. I think I'm pronouncing that right. That's that's the the point where the atmosphere ends and outer space begins. That's the 62 <laughs> miles. Oh. We got Neil deGrasse Tyson over here. I, I, don't, I don't think we need to see any more. The point is, I think this sets the table for the conversation with with Heather, and that is there is no response. No. from the republicans but he did try today or go it was yesterday going into 2 a.m this morning for uh the entire bill to be read by poor senate aides i mean axios framed it as ron johnson forced the senate aides until two in the morning to read how long is that bill 628 pages he did in, in, indeed he said you gotta read the whole thing i'm shocked uh, that he didn't stack 628 pages on top of it each other and then show us first the thickness of the paper i wonder how that compares to the thickness of the dollar bill i want to visualize it too um maybe he could use like some sort of cardboard paper in order to make his point more effective but um i needed that visualization because now I, I don't know how i feel about the stimulus package and here's the the most ridiculous part about it at the end of all that you imagine this huge stack of $1 bills. And then he basically, uh, the implication is, and all of this is going directly to the American public to help them. Isn't yeah, that not, hard? Not to Jeff Bezos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 